Vocational training in Germany is just another term for Ausbildung in Germany. Why choose Germany? And what are the Ausbildung benefits in Germany? Germany is renowned for its robust vocational training system, offering a unique blend of hands-on experience and academic learning. And it's a perfect place to develop skills in a perfect practical settings, which opens doors to a multitude of career opportunities for you here in Germany. Vocational training is another ladder to career success here in Germany. And you earn and you learn. That is one of the benefits. You are earning and you are learning as you are um, going doing your vocational training. That is your whole be done in Germany. So let's go into today's video. This is a continuation video, a vocational training continuation video about um, professions. It's about professions in labo. I've already discussed 10 when it comes to this vocational training. We've, I've discussed 10 careers of Ausbildung in Germany that you can find. This you can find in the natural sciences, that is sciences Ausbildung in Germany playlist. So they'll be discussing two more career options in this Ausbildung opportunity. Yes, this area of specialization that you can assess in Germany. So the first, as the picture beside is showing, is a medicine share section, so the preparation, assistant, assistant, that's medical dissection on preparation assistant. The duration is one year. You spend one year doing this vocational training, and it's a Beirut factual Beirut. That's the type. It's a vocational school occupation. Do you need a certificate? Yes. Apart from a German language, which is very important here, it will be um, higher, which is B2 upwards. Anything from B2, once you have your B2, yes, you can assess this. It's very important you understand your German language. Why? As you are being taught, because you are not just learning, you are learning the language as well. As you are being taught or being explained what to be done, they are um, fact voted, that is, um, professional vocabularies you need to understand and it's very important if you understand your German language so you can have a very easy time during your vocational training it's not it's easy for you to follow what you are being explained or what you are being taught so your German language is very important so if you want to assess more vocational training options here in Germany it's very important that of course you understand your German language so for this vocational training, it's one year, like I said, and it's a vocational school occupation. It's a very fast school period. You need your Hochschule Abschluss, that's your secondary school living certificate, your secondary school living certificate. What do you do? As a medical dissection and preparation assistant, you support medical specialists during autopsies, during um, detection of pathogens, when you're collecting tissue samples, or you are doing forensic investigation. You prepare specimens of different organs and you use it for scientific or that is being used for scientific or teaching processes. You ensure hygiene in workroom. You prepare instruments and equipment. You sterilize them after use. And you document each steps of any um, 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 collection of samples or pathogens, you write the documentation with photographs, you do that. And you are also um, in the tax management, the documentation and specimen collection. Yeah. Specimen collection, you document, you have you document and you take pictures as well. So where do you find employment? You find employment in pathological and anatomical forensic institutes of universities or in corresponding departments of university hospitals. You find employment in pathological departments of hospitals or examination libraries, um, laboratories, not libraries, I mean to say. Laboratories, laboratories, okay. So that is where you find employment. It is a one year course, but without your options, options anything lower than that, you are not accepted. Anything lower than your option, up close. You are not accepted. You must have your up to show 
to start your secondary school living certificate and your German language, of course, from B2 upwards, which is very important because you have to understand what you have been told to do. Then you document, you take pictures, take samples, specimens, forensics, um, investigations, and all that. That is what you do. So this is um, the 11th career in this area of specialization. The 12th career is still in this video, so I encourage you to watch the next part of this video. I'll see you in the next part. Welcome to the second part of the video. And as the picture beside is showing, the career option is Medicine Shared Technology, Technology Fuel Laboratorium Analytic. That is a medical technologist for laboratory analysis the duration is three to five years three to five years because if you are taking it as a full time it's three years and if you are taking it as a part time it is five years it's a Beruks factual beruf it's a vocational school of creation that's the type it's a Beruks factual beruf it's a vocational school occupation and it is three to five years so that means if you are taking it as part time you can spend five years doing this vocational training and if you are taking it as a full time, you spend three years doing this vocational training. So, do you need a certificate? Of course, apart from your German language and your middle bedroom abschluss, anything lower than your middle bedroom abschluss, intermediate school living certificate, not your secondary school living certificate, your intermediate school living certificate, your middle bedroom abschluss. For you to be able to know, understand the equivalence of the German. Live, um, educational system maybe the certificate you have is equal to what um, the German educational system is you have to standardize your document which is called an account that you are standardizing your document without your material buildings actually this is you won't be accepted into this vocational training anything higher fine but anything lower you are not accepted and of course your German language from your B2 upward because here you'll be talking about a lot of um, fact water uh, that is a uh, more intense voc uh, vocabularies when it comes to the medical aspect so from your b2 upwards yes you can go into this vocational training what do you do if you are a medical uh, technologist for laboratory analysis what do you do you support um, technologies you create support for diagnostic and early detection of diseases and health risks make sure that there is early detection of diseases and health risks you make sure that health promotion monitor recovery progress and health um, deterioration prevention measures are being put in place so for you to be able to do this you collect samples antibodies tissues any measure of a uh, substance in the body and test the samples for pathogens. You take and you perform swaps. You inform patients about the test of what you've done and you guide them about different tests. Different tests. Any test that has to do with health risks, that is what you do. You prepare laboratory results and serve this as a basis for physicians, that is doctor diagnosis. So. You make sure that there is utmost cleanliness so that an hygiene, you sterilize your equipment and you check them regularly, any laboratory equipment to ensure that there's com compliance with safety, maintenance regulation and health regulations. That is what you do. So what you basically do is you come from the human body or from any, any um, organism, you make sure that you have samples which have been tested to check for any health risk, any health risks. So, where do you find employment? Find employment in the hospitals. If you are a medical um, technologist for laboratory analysis, you find employment in the hospitals. You find employment in doctor's office. You work with doctors in the office. You find employment in medical laboratories. You find employment in biotechnology diagnostic laboratories and you find the employment in blood donation services and um, companies that is where you find employment 
let's not forget it's a vocational school occupation without your intermediate school level certificate anything lower than that you are not accepted and your german language of course which i will encourage you if you have not started what are you waiting for if you have give yourself a big thumbs up and a big pattern because you've done very well with your german language you can assess a lot of vocational training options when it comes to this career path in germany when it comes to any career option vocational training is, is another career ladder to career success in germany so don't give up on your careers don't forget only you can stop you i'll see you in my next video if you're not subscribed what are you waiting for subscribe and hit your notification bell so when i drop the next video when it comes to this vocational training options in germany the, um, the area of specialization bereavement level when you have more career options that are still coming you are the first to know so i'll see you in my next video